Hello, everyone. Lawrence Fleming here with another in the series, After the Rapture. Today, we're going to talk about the mark of the beast. And as with everything in the end times, we're often told about something, but we don't always have enough information to recognize it. So stay with me and I'll tell you what we do know. If you're a Christian, you're going to be watching all these things from heaven. You don't have to worry about it. But if you're not a Christian, and you want to be, stay to the end, and I'll tell you what you can do to become one. Now, my normal spiel, if you like this video, click like. If you want to hear more, well, subscribe to this channel. It does help you to know how to place these videos. And of course, click the bell icon and you'll be notified when I release a new video. Now, I do ask a couple of favors from you. You can help share this and other videos with those that need God's help. And I don't ask for donations, but I do ask for your prayers. So let's go ahead and get started. This message is not for Christians, as I've said before, at least those that will be taken away via the rapture. If you become a Christian after the rapture, you will probably be martyred. And again, this is not for you. For the rest, pay close attention. There is no need to look for the mark until the Antichrist is on the scene. The ability to have a worldwide mark is needed you know, to buy and sell, but it's only been a passing thought up till now. Now you've heard of Bitcoin, a form of digital currency. Now it opened the door to technology that is needed for the mark of the beast. The future digital currency will have to be controlled worldwide and by a government entity. That age is quickly approaching. In the UK, according to the UKTN, the home of UK tech, there are many other countries that have developed and are developing digital currencies. The latest one to join the trend is the UK. In the recent development, British authorities are exploring the possibilities of creating a new digital currency touted as Britcoin. The UK Chancellor Rishi Sunak previously formed a team of officials from the Bank of England and the Treasury to look into this proposal. In his latest statement, Sinek said that the central bank, digital currency, CBDC, would not replace cash, just instead coexist. <laughs> yeah, but that's the start. Now to China. The digital yuan is not a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, for one is issued by the central authority, the PBOC. While well, Bitcoin is not and therefore decentralized. Instead, China's efforts are an example of a central bank digital currency and the PBOC are aiming to digitize banknotes and coins that are already in circulation. Now that's one who is replacing currency. Now I remember when computers first came out, every manufacturer had their own proprietary operating system. It was a mess. No software could go across platforms, but it took a large company like IBM to create the PC and push forward with a standard. And this is what's gonna happen with the digital currency. There's a lot that still has to happen, but all the pieces are falling into place. The US dollar, which has been the standard for years, will have to decline. The trillions of dollars of US debt is the start of that decline. There will have to be a major event to push it and other world monetary systems over the edge, but it's coming. Okay, let's look and see what the Bible says about the mark. If you want to turn with me to Revelation 11.1. 1. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke like a dragon. He exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence, and he makes the earth and those who dwell on it to worship the first beast, whose fatal wound was healed. He performs great signs so that 
he even makes fire come down out of heaven to the earth in the presence of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth because of the signs which it was given him to perform in the presence of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who had the wound of the sword and has come to life. And it was given to him to breathe to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast would even speak and cause as many that do not worship the image of the beast to be killed. And he causes all the small, the great, the rich, the poor, the free men and the slaves to be given a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. And he provides that no one will be able to buy or sell except the one who has the mark. Either the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For the number is that of a man. His number is 666. Now this is where we get 666 and the information about the mark. I'm not going to talk about the symbologies of the, the beast, the primary beast and the false prophet. Just note that there are signs here and that we have the mark. Now, the warning about getting the mark, which shows allegiance to the beast, you want to pay attention to this. This is really why you don't want to get it. Let's look at Revelation 14, 9. Then another angel, a third one, followed them, saying with a loud voice, if anyone worships the beast and his image and receives the mark in his forehead or on his hand, he will also drink the wine of the wrath of God, which is mixed in full strength in the cup of his anger. And he will be tormented with fire, tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever, and they will have no rest day and night. Those who worship the beast and his image and whoever receives the mark of his name. Here is the perseverance of the saints who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the spirit so that they may rest from their labors for their deeds follow with them. So you will have to die if you don't want to take the mark. And no one wants to sign up for the wrath of God. There's not a whole lot of definitions you needed for that symbology. And you will have to go underground, like I said in my last video. Now, here is what awaits those who get the mark. Revelation 16. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, go and pour out on the earth the seven bowls of the wrath of God. So the first first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth, and it became a loathsome and malignant sore on the people who had the mark of the beast and who worshiped his image. The bowl judgments are the worst of the end time judgments after the seals and trumpets. Being a Christian martyr at this time will be the easy way out. Now, it's really going to get bad. So let me finish with a couple more bold judgments to remind you to repent and accept Jesus while you can to avoid these. Let's turn to Revelation 16, 8. The fourth angel pulled out, poured out his bowl upon the sun, and it was given to it to scorch men with fire. Men were scorched with fierce heat, and they blasphemed the name of God who has the power over these plagues. And they did not repent so as to give him glory. Then the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the thrones of the beast, and his kingdom became darkened, and they gnawed their tongues because of pain. And they still blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and they did not repent of their deeds. I hope you're thoroughly frightened by what is coming for unrepentant and unbelievers. This doesn't have to be your fate. Don't let your heart be hardened and open up to God right now and to Jesus. You have an invitation. 
Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. It's a simple invitation, but he doesn't kick the door down. You have to open it. You need to put your trust in God. You don't know God or Jesus yet? Well, you can invite Jesus into your heart. You can speak to him right now. And he will know your heart when you come to him, so make sure it's right. You're not going to get to him by works. I don't care what you've done. You have to accept the free gift of salvation. Now, if you want that, repeat after me. Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I repent of my sinful ways and ask you to come into my heart. I accept your free gift of salvation that you paid for with your blood on the cross. I want to be a Christian. I want to be born again. I want to have eternal life. Now, if you prayed that, leave me a note down below. I'd like to pray with you, help you get started. You're going to avoid everything that I've talked about that's bad in this video and all my other videos about the end times. Because you're going to go up in the rapture if you pray that now, before the rapture. After the rapture, you may have to die for your belief, but you will avoid the wrath of God. That's all I have for now, so until we meet in heaven, God bless.